Brushes can be used with graphic styles and appearance to create more unusual brushes than the standard brushes. So just going to quickly go to the window menu, brushes. Now I've actually got the brushes palette already displayed. Brushes there. To load brushes, open brush library. I've already got the brush library open that I'm going to be using. It's a graphicextras.com flowers designs. And I've pre-prepared the brush that I've already selected. I've selected the brush there, put it here into the brush palette. And I've double clicked that. And I've actually added the method of tints because I want to recolor the brush. But I don't want to do it later. So I want to do it actually pre before I do any actual brush work. So click OK. And now when I apply the brush, I'm just going to apply the brush. And you'll see the brush stroke is applied with the black color here. So if I change that, just going to select the brush. So I'm just going to select that. Goes to red. That sort of thing. Right. Now, if you go to the appearance palette, you will notice in the appearance palette, the brush obviously has got the red there, and you've also got the brush that you've uh, just applied here. Now, if you actually select the stroke line there and go to the duplicate item, just duplicate item, and you'll see the same brush, exactly the same thing with the dialogue there. Now, you've got the color here of obviously red, so I'm just going to change that to green. Now, the actual one with the red is still there. It's actually underneath that. Obviously, you can't see it at that point. So I'm just going to, if you change the stroke, maybe maybe not that big, but just change it to two point. You can actually see now the brush stroke, the brush behind, you've actually got a combination brush. So you've just got... You can obviously modify and change the brush. You can, of course, change the various settings. You can maybe randomize the angle and all those sort of things. But I'm just doing, in this case, just the color. Now, at this point, you can actually then go to the graphic style palette. If you've actually haven't got it, it's window graphic styles and new graphic style. Click OK. And now that brush style is actually saved to the graphic styles. So if I get rid of that and now just apply another brush. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And I'm just going to, again, click there. And that brush stroke is applied. Now you've got a more, slightly more complicated brush stroke than, of course, you could create the brush by creating a slightly more complicated brush in the brush palette. But uh, in this case, using the styles palette to create more complicated brushes. Now, of course, you can make more and more complicated brushes, maybe layering multiple Entries, again, you can duplicate and duplicate, maybe change the brush as well. So there's virtually infinite things you could do with the same brush or with other, say, other designs that you can find.